I wanted to do a very quick video on this mod light. Um, I know a few months ago they released the PL350 Compact, which runs a head that's like about half the size. This is a, I don't know if this is an OKW or a PLH. I think this is an OKW head. And I have, I want to say about five to six mod lights. I only have one PL350. Now, this thing is failing severely. Uh, this has a brand new battery in it. But if you leave it on, see that? It starts flickering and then it drops down. Now, I'm going to be attending a low light course here pretty soon. And so... It is somewhat of a pain in the ass to have to deal with the warranty. Now, they are willing to exchange this. This is the first gen. I had this on here since the inception of it. Um, so it has lasted quite a bit. But I have other weapon lights like my turbo, um, my stream lights, and even, uh, I hate to say it, O lights have given me less issues than this <laughs> pl350 which is sad to say because i really like mod light and they did uh honor the warranty i did have to follow up like three times with them um so i don't want to say that the warranty's experience has been exceptional and i'm also having to send this back while I wait for them to send me the new one, which means I'm going to be forced because I'm taking a low light course to buy another PL350 body. Um, and you're, I know what you're thinking. Why would you do that? Why not just put one of your other weapon lights? Well, because then that means I have to get a new holster, um, which I don't want to do because that is like a whole nother thing. That's like an extra $150 on top of everything. If I get a different weapon light so just to keep it concentric or to keep it you know same same i'm gonna have to go get another uh, pl350 so that i can run that during my low light course while they fix this one and then i guess i'll just have a, a backup one so that is my experience with mod light I, I feel like they're a good company i feel like they make a good product when it's working good it's working good i do shoot a lot uh that being said you know i've got other weapon lights like especially the one that comes to mind is the surefire ultra and turbo zero flickering zero issues with the tail cap like these uh like these this switches they're real loose now. You can see that. They're really loose and then they don't. So they come on and off real easy. Uh, which they said that they fixed that in the Gen 2 because this is the Gen 1. Uh, which, quick story again, when I first got this thing, the lug was made out of plastic and that sheared off. So they did replace that. They sent me a new lug. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what you, what do you guys think? Should I get another PL350 so that I can, you know, keep running it in that same holster? But that's kind of been my experience with mod light. And I have, I love the rifle lights, but even those ones have given me some issues with the tail caps. I've had to switch stuff out. People told me, oh, use the reptilia body. So I switched the reptilia body. It didn't fix it. So... You know, mod light's kind of tricky, um, and I've also had uh, issues with my cloud defense. Uh, not the rifle lights, but the, the the handheld. I have one of the handhelds, and I did have issues with this one originally. But do you see how bright that is compared to that? And so that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at. You know, it should be much brighter. And so we shall see what the outcome will be. I will do another follow-up video. But uh, who else is running a PL350? Who else got one of these when they first came out? 